TeachAnOldDogNewTricks.com. More than 40 hours of free computer training. Sit, stay, and learn. Thank you. Hi, ladies and gentlemen. This is Tony Hollowitz, and I want to thank you for being here. This is the first in a series of top 20 tips about Microsoft Word. As I thought about Microsoft Word and thought about some of the things that I want to teach to the average everyday user, maybe the person that works at home or in an office, I wanted to sort of outline the top 20 things I think you should know about Microsoft Word. And tip number one isn't so much that I want to show you some specific items as much as I want to offer some advice. If you're brand new to a computer or if you're brand new to Microsoft Office, what I always recommend strongly is the first thing you need to do is master the fundamentals of Microsoft Word. And the reason I say that is because of the fact is that what you'll learn in Microsoft Word will carry over to everything else you do on the computer, whether it be in another Microsoft Office program such as Excel or PowerPoint or Outlook, it will help you there because a lot of the fundamentals, a lot of the things you learn up here on the toolbars are fundamentally the same in Excel and in PowerPoint and a lot of it is the same in Microsoft Word. So the things you learn up here are going to help you everywhere else you go. So mastering these fundamentals will most definitely make a transition to some of the other software programs much easier. So as I was doing this I said well let me make a top 20 list because if you learn these 20 things before you move on and you learn them well it's going to help you in a variety of areas and again it doesn't just have to be Microsoft Office it can be other software as well. So what I'm going to focus on is I'm going to focus on working through some of these items showing you some of the things that we can work with and make sure that Microsoft Word is a good experience experience. Another thing that I want to bring up is right now today there are many different versions of Microsoft Office and I want to tell you how I approach this. Right now I have Microsoft Office 2003 open on the screen. The most recent version is Office 2010. That just came out in June of this year of 2010 but to the majority of people that are using Word, not that many people are using Office 2010 because it's so new. We have a percentage of people that are using Office 2007. My experience has been is that for most of the people I work with it's split down the middle so as of today in July 2010 I'm finding about 50 percent of the people are using Office 2007 and about 50 percent are using Office 2003. Now I'm doing some rounding up but I'm finding it's a good split right down the middle. I'm using 2003 for one very specific reason. If you have not upgraded to 2007, Microsoft Office 2007 uses a new approach. They use something up on the toolbar called a ribbon. So the look and the feel is different. Having stated that, I liken version upgrades in software to be like buying a new car. In other words, if you buy a new car, you get in, get in that car, you know how to drive, you know how to get around, so you don't have to the master the fundamentals. What you do have to learn in the new versions or the new car is you do need to know, okay, how's the heater work? How does the radio work? Where did they put this? Where did they put that? And to a certain degree what they do with the new versions is they've moved some things around. But the fundamentals, the fundamentals you learn in Office 2003 or 2007 will work to your advantage. So master these fundamentals and move ahead. My name is Tony Hollowitz. Thank you very much.